Hi, okay, so how are you guys doing today? So here is another book in kind of my Christmassy holiday book series. I am wearing a Santa zip-up jacket. I literally have Santa on the back of my jacket. Can you see? Santa's on the back of my jacket, so I'm feeling super, super holiday horrific. Anyway, you know the story of the gingerbread man, don't you? Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me because I'm the gingerbread man. Well, this story, often they take really, you know, famous stories and they kind of mix them up, right? They call them fractured fairy tales or they'll do various versions of fairy tales that you know or stories that you know. Folk tales, all these all these different terms we can use, right? Right now, I'm just going to stick with the gingerbread man story. So they've taken the gingerbread man and they've made the gingerbread girl. Yes. Now, boys, if it's you're like, no. Look, the gingerbread man has been a thing forever. And the girls have been happy listening to that. And you can absolutely love this book, too. I don't want any of this like it's a girl book. It's not a girl book. It's an everybody book. Love it. Love it. It's a good book. Okay, you ready? Because it's a twist on a classic. So let's see how they twisted it around. Yeah, let's do that together. The Gingerbread Girl. Now, by Lisa Campbell Ernst. Ernst. That's a tough name to say sometimes. Now, this book is not as easy kind of to read because there's so many words on every page. Let me show you an example. Mm. Well, here, the first page. See, there's a lot of words on that page for me to read kind of sideways. So I'm going to turn it to myself a little, and then I'll turn to show you the picture. Is that okay? Great. Even if you said no, that's what I'm doing anyway. So I'm glad we agree. The Gingerbread Girl. How lovely is that book? By Lisa Campbell Ernst. You may remember the sad story of the gingerbread boy. He ran away from the lonely old woman who baked him as well as many other, other hungry characters. His dash through life was ended in one greedy gulp by a sly fox pretending to help him cross a river. This is the story of his younger, wiser sister. Hmm. I already like the twist of this story. A full year had passed since the lonely old woman and the lonely old man had lost their gingerbread boy to the devious fox. They were even lonelier than before. Let's speak again, suggested the old man one morning. But what if the same thing happens, cried the old woman. I couldn't bear the loss. Let's make a girl this time and decorate her with candies. Surely a sweet little girl wouldn't run away, answered the man. So they mixed up the dough, rolled it, and cut it out. They dressed it with as many candies that could fit, completing the cookie with an amazing hairdo made of licorice whips. She is sweet, gasped the woman as she slid the cookie sheet into the oven. Oh, look at her, with her one, one little eye open, huh? She's like, ah. While the lonely old woman and the lonely old man stood watch by the oven, they talked, remembering the gingerbread boy's life, his short life. He never should have run away. He never should have trusted that fox. Now, had the gingerbread boy read stories in his classroom about foxes, he would have known that foxes are never to be trusted in stories, and they are always tricky, and they're always up to no good, yeah? You know that, I betcha. Foxes are never up to any good. He should have never trusted that fox. As the new cookie baked, her mind woke up and she heard everything. I think this is like a magical oven of some kind. Sweet or not, she thought things will be different this time. And when it was time for the cookie to be done, the old woman carefully, ever so carefully, cracked open the door to peek. Bam! Out jumped the gingerbread cookie, running towards the door. The little old woman screamed, stop, stop, and the little old man came running, but the cookie was already out the door and headed down the same path that our brother had traveled. Here we go. Oh, she whispered, here we go, whispered the gingerbread girl. The man and the woman chased after her, but she sang. 
I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread girl. Oh, do you see how they rhymed girl, twirl? I like how they did that. Nice little play on words. As the gingerbread girl dashed along the path, she came to a group of farmers working in the fields. The aroma of fresh baked gingerbread caught their attention. Wait, the hungry farmers shouted and began to run after the gingerbread girl. She laughed and called. Hey, farmers, don't bother. Like my brother, I'm fast. Run all you want, but I've learned from his past. I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. Farther down the road, a pig came into view. As the gingerbread girl grew closer, her candy sparkled in the sunlight. The pig squealed with joy and tried to take a bite, but gingerbread girl was too fast. She leaped over him singing. I can leap past Piggy like all of the others. The story will not end like that of my brothers. I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread girl. On down the path, my book tip, sorry. On down the path, she came upon an artist. A masterpiece good enough to eat, the artist whispered, and I'll reach out the sco and scoop up the gingerbread girl. And with some fancy footwork, the gingerbread girl zipped past laughing. I can outrun this artist like I outran the pig, and I'm one smart cookie despite this wild wig. Look at her hair. I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. Farther along, the gingerbread girl passed the cow with her calf, who mooed happily. Mama, I want a cookie to go with my milk. But when the cow tried to catch the gingerbread girl, she soon found herself running behind, listening to the gingerbread girl call. Chase if you want, but I'm faster than you. Although you have four feet, I've only got two. And I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. Up ahead, a dog walker was crossing the path with three dogs. The dogs barked happily, seeing a tasty treat headed their way. But as the gingerbread girl sped past, the group was soon in line with the others hearing... You're joining the chase, the more the merrier, but no one can stop me. Not hound, not terrier. I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread girl. Now the push, I'm sorry, now the path right ran right past the school and the children were out for recess and feeling quite hungry. Shouts of cookie were heard across the playground and the gingerbread girl waved them all as they joined the chase with their teachers as she sang. I know that it's snack time and you want a sweet. Come follow along and you'll soon have a treat. I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread girl. Now I'm wondering right now, where is she taking them? It, it almost seems like she's asking all of them to come along because she's taking them somewhere. And the beginning of the book said that she was smarter than her brother. So I wonder what she's up to. Oh, now this should be good. Finally, the gingerbread girl came to the same river her brother had tried to cross. Who should be waiting for her but that same devious fox? Hello, my pretty, crooned the fox. I was a friend of your brother's. It looked like trouble runs in the family. Do let me help you cross the river. Just jump on my tail. The gingerbread girl shivered and then she sang in nearly a whisper. Do I have your promise for a safe ride to shore? You won't drop me or eat me. That's all I implore. That means that's all I'll ask. 
The fox chuckled. Ha ha, I promise my sweet little tidbit. And the gingerbread girl gingerly climbed onto the fox's tail. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Now the beginning of the book told us that she was smarter than her brother. Now I'm wondering, is that true? We're going to have to read to find out if she is indeed smarter than her brother. Because right now it's not looking like it because she's doing the same thing he did. Hmm. Maybe the author has a twist at the end of the story. Let's find out. Maybe. The instant the gingerbread girl climbed on the fox, do uh, climbed on, the fox dove into the water ready for a fabulous feast. Ooh, the water is so deep. Move to my back, he insisted, thinking this cute cookie was even dumber than her brother. Anyone can tell by looking at her that she was an airhead. Oh, see, that's not going to go over very well, is it? The gingerbread girl did what she was told. That's a good little girl, the fox said with a snicker. Oh my, the water is deeper now. Move to my head. I can't wait to see what happens. No sooner had he spoken those words than the gingerbread girl leaped on his head, pulling off a strand of her own leathery licorice hair. And with the expertise of a ranch hand, she triple looped it around the fox's snout and tied it off with a half hitch knot. You're right, she whispered in the fox's ear. I am good. And the fox snarled and struggled and strained, thrashing about. But the gingerbread girl hung on, turning him back towards the crowd, riding the fox like a bucking bronco. And the gingerbread girl whizzed past singing. He'll run and he'll run with a leap and a twirl. Come follow me. I'm the gingerbread girl. The awestruck crowd followed all the way back to the lonely old woman and the lonely old man's house. The gingerbread girl rode into the kitchen, securing the fox, jumped onto the table, and she measured and she mixed with a leap and a twirl, singing, I'll bake you some more, I'm the gingerbread girl. And the old woman and man quickly joined in to help, having a hungry, happy household to feed. From that moment on, of course, they were never lonely again. How wonderful is that? They started out a lonely old man and woman, and now they're surrounded by the entire community. I love that. How does that story make you feel? How does that make you feel about the gingerbread girl? Was she indeed smarter than her brother? What did she do differently that was different than her brother? Because it looked a lot the same, but she did something different. Did she have to think differently? I think she did. She was confident, but she also knew what she was up against, huh? See, the gingerbread man, if you remember, he was confident and he thought he knew everything and then he got gobbled up because he did not know everything, even though he acted like it and he got gobbled up. His pride got a hold of him. But she knew what she was doing and she was confident when she knew what she was doing. That was different. That's different. Confidence is different than pride. And then she took everybody back to the little old man, the little old woman's house, and they all got to be together. What a wonderful story. Anything else? Oh, there is one more page. Ha, ah, there's one more page. And what of the fox? The gingerbread girl was eventually able to teach him some manners. Using gingerbread crumbs for treats, most days you could see them riding across the countryside and hear a small voice drifting in the breeze. We'll run and we'll run with a leap and a twirl. I outfoxed the fox. I'm the gingerbread girl. I love that. She outfoxed the fox. That's a pretty powerful stance, huh? I bet everybody, I bet you, or if there's many children watching this video, I bet you could all stand, put your hands on your hips, and take that stance that the gingerbread girl has right now and feel really powerful and really confident. Could you do that? I bet that'd be really fun if you did that. 
Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you were here. Okay, take care. Bye.